All right, everybody, I've got a deck tech for you. Um, this is my Fire Earth, Avatar of Earth list. Um, I had multiple people come up to me at the Quarters and Cup and say, hey, I've uh, watched your videos and very appreciative. Thank you very much. Uh, but also, I'm playing and know your list. And it's like, oh, that's very flattering. Thank you. And then I was like, oh, well, everybody knows my game plan. So I'm going to go find something else and build a new deck or find another popular one. Not sure yet, but I'm going to put a deck tech out there for this list, and this is where I've taken it so far. I'm going to I'm gonna go find something else. But So we got Avatar of Earth here. The main game plan of this deck is to Earthquake or Atlas Wanderers, a site to right in front of your main site, so you can on turn 5 or 6 attack for 5 or 6 uh, damage with your Avatar. Uh, goal is to get really big with uh, some Earth sites. And then use your minions early and mid game to do some chip damage. Hopefully they're around twelve or fifteen. Uh, everything in here is trying to facilitate that game plan. Um, some efficient minions, and uh, we'll go through that. Uh, so to start out with, we got three boss trolls. Uh, we have a sneaky uh, scent hounds over here for a common sense target to for. Uh, Infiltrate players, um, it, Infiltrate comes and goes, so it's a bit of a meta call. This one could be another boss troll, but a turn two boss troll on your front site. Uh, having that aggressive draw is very good. So if you see a boss troll in your opening, I'd keep it. Uh, for violence, just the removal is very good. There's a couple deserts in here, so you desert violent, uh, take, take care of their three cost or three power minion. Is where you want to be. Um, Violence also can help the double spell turn. So like a boss troll plus a Violent or Amazon, not Amazon, Autumn Unicorn plus a Violent feels really good. Um, the break points for the, uh, this deck is about five. You get to five mana, you can operate there. Um, the uh, Where you're going to run into issues is card draw, um, but uh, you have an avatar of Earth that hopefully is a five power unit, turn five. And then you can just keep drawing spells. You don't have to worry about sites anymore. Uh, we got three unicorns, the above rate um, power for mana, a very good minion here. Turn three unicorn feels pretty good, and they have to deal with it. And usually it, it does, but it baits out removal, so it's a very good card. Uh, three kobolds. Kobolds is kind of fills the same role as uh, violence. You can also threaten four damage with kobolds. Uh, there's some maybe there's a playing trinkets in this list, but I haven't whole, messed around with that a whole lot. But kobolds are very strong. Uh, three root spiders. If you get a root spider under your opponent's sight and you attack with an avatar of earth they can't defend it so it feels very dirty <laughs> um, it's a very good combo between these two um, but a lot of people are running their own spiders or bats or uh, sandworms so it is a threat people will deal with but hopefully you can get a, an attack with it and uh, yeah two pudge butchers I had, I had taken Pudge Butchers out of this list a while ago, and I put them back in recently. Um, previously, they were getting Chaos Twistered, and I was getting hit for five, or they were re removing some other my minion and getting two for one, and felt pretty bad. But Pud, but Pud Butchers are back in the list, and with uh, Rift Valleys, you can reposition them a little bit, and if you get a Pudge Butcher hit, you're feeling pretty good. Uh, two Bodyguards. Um, Bodyguards used to be a cavalry. They go kind of go back and forth, um, but I think bodyguard is a bit of a better minion. It's a, it has one more toughness, so it's a, a little a little stickier. Also, it has saved me on death door a couple times, so another good good minion there. Sandworm uh, is anti root spider. You can common sense for it. Um, this could be a trolls. You would have to be at six mana for uh, common sense plus sandworm. And you can do that, um, play a little bit slower, use your minions a little bit more. Uh, but Sandworms is a pretty good uh, 
minion because of that four four power there. Um, on a break point, uh, three mana or three power is kind of your bare minimum. A lot of two power minions died of uh, imps and kobold. So you, if you have a two power minion, you need to be doing something with it. Um, three power uh, dies to fire bolts and lightning bolts and. So that's another thing you have to worry about. But four power, they have to use berry or another minion or put a lot more resources into it. So four power is a, a very good minion to have. Atlas Wanderers here, um, facilitating the game plan of Avatar of Earth, getting a, your an opponent's sight into front of you on turn five or six so you can attack is, is where you want to do. Um, and also repositioning maybe a pudge or setting up for a more advantageous attack. The Genesis ability is what you're playing this for. The body is a bonus, but it's a very good card in this list. Um, we have three Divine Healings. Um, they, they, I did have two Divine Healings and two Angel's he Eggs at one point. Angel's Eggs in this list is a little bit awkward because you want to play it burrowed, but there's only four minions you can play it to the hands with. Um, you can bury it sometimes with... Uh, earthquake, but it's a little cumbersome, and I've had it stolen multiple times, so that doesn't feel great. But at least one divine healing in the game feels really good, and you can it buys you an extra turn. So healing is good. Uh, three common sense. Uh, the this I've done. I've gone down to two common sense before, and two. It's a little bit awkward. Sometimes you don't see them, but you really need to see a common sense because that's like your you can go whatever go get whatever kill spell you need. That that be a imp or a firebolt or a heat ray uh, or a minion if you just need a minion. If you have two common sense, you common sense for a boss troll feels feels fine. Um, I I like three in the list. This spell is a common sense target. Uh, against death speakers and enchantresses, uh, just the getting a two for one uh, with this spell feels pretty good. Uh, here we have a firebolt and a berry. Uh, this firebolt used to be a berry for a while, uh, but I found that a common sense for a berry on turn five is just a little bit too slow, and sometimes common sense for a firebolt on turn four uh, can can help a lot and uh, just to remove some pressure. And then three blazes. Um, Blaze feels really good. I've played Mad Dash. Uh, Mad Dash is the one. The one less movement is a real cost. Uh, but Blaze is another way to get your avatar up onto their site with having without having to tap and move for a turn and take that one turn off. Um, doesn't sound like a lot, but it it can cost a lot of games if you don't get them to turn uh, Death Door a turn earlier. Blaze is another, it's also another kill spell. So uh, a bit of a philosophy on building the deck was a density of kill spells when they're at death's door. Um, a lot of tuned players and tuned decks can usually get each other to death's door within a turn of each other. Uh, and it usually comes down to who can get there first. And then the question is, do you have kill in hand? Uh, so a lot of these uh, spells are quote unquote kills at, on death's door. So Blaze being one of them. Uh, Heat Ray. Heat Ray Common Sense is the bread and butter uh, kill spell for this deck. Um, you're playing so centrally, you can tap left or right and be in line of sight of your opponent. And the piercing projectile doesn't care about uh, all the stuff in the way. So main kill spell here. Uh, if you have to cut uh, Heat Ray and kill a, a Vile Imp, it doesn't feel great, but you can do it. Um, you kind of want to save Heat Rays. Uh, two Earthquakes. Uh, earthquake on turn 6, because on turn 5 you play your your 5th mana for this, but then you're tapped, so you can't Earthquake and do attack. So usually I save Earthquake on, until turn 6, so you can Earthquake and put a, a s opponent site in front of you and attack. Um, it also removes the chump blocks, and you can rearrange your sites advantageously uh, to put your site in front of their um their avatar, and that feels really good later in the game when you get Violimps and Cobalts, you can just play them right in front of them and get value out of them. So Earthquake is very good. And then two Poison Nova's. Uh, Poison Nova is 
basically a board wipe. Um, a lot of people are playing five, six mana decks. Um, so everybody's playing pretty tight um, in the central location of the board. So, and you're you're wanting to be in the middle of it. So po poison nova can be a two for one, a three for one. If you're killing one minion and attacking, that's okay. Uh, really, where you want to be is getting two two minions uh, off of one of these guys. Uh, we'll move over here to the sites. Uh, we have three three steps. Uh, just the dual lands are very good. In this list, there are only four non-earth producing thresholds in, on the sites, but there um, you can usually get one fire threshold by if you hard mulligan and draw a site you look at seven uh, seven sites you can usually find a one fire threshold you're looking just for that one um, maybe two if you're worried about Atlantean fate turning off your threshold but uh, uh, looking for that one fire because each each fire card in this list has only the one threshold so that's a big part of the, the deck building too uh, three bedrocks, um, anti roots, anti uh, Atlantean fate. Um, they're a little bit awkward in this list in Avatar of Earth specifically because you want to be moving sites, and uh, bedrock doesn't allow you to do that. So playing this on turn your first turn or on your back row is okay. Um, just you kind of have to with roots and Atlantean fate running around. Uh, one quagmire. Uh, quagmire could probably go up to two. Maybe remove a village or something, but um, Quagmire is very strong in get, playing that on turn three, or t and giving yourself a breathing turn, uh, a turn where they can't attack, uh, feels really good. Then you, you can set up for uh, some removal spell or something, but it's another setup card. Quagmire is very strong and probably can go up to two. Uh, one color out of space. I play this just for another duel um, for fire earth um, and with this uh, smokestacks here the combo of removing the downside is very strong also color is a water site um, so you can sneakily put some minions on top of this and be okay and avoid berries I've uh, put a pudge butcher on this earthquake moved this around and used um, used pudge after the, the earthquake it feels very strong uh, one pillar to Zeros. The the healing off of this is great. The and the Death Speaker hate uh, is very strong as well. Um, I think the most I've healed off of a pillar to Zeros is at like eight or nine, and it's just the 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 life gain off of a land feel is ridiculous. Um, uh, Mirror Realm could copy a pillars or a tower if you wanted a ramp onto on turn four or five to something bigger. Um, you could copy it, their tower, but uh, Mirror Realm's very good. It, it's almost an auto include in mo most decks I build. Uh, t here we have two Rift Valleys. Um, Rift Valley is took me a while to learn when to use this. Um, you don't want to. You can do Rift Valley turn two if you're you suspect they're playing a bit of a slower deck, but if they're playing any aggressive deck, which is, seems to be the popular way, um, grabbing their site on turn two, giving them a launch pad right in front of you, unless you have like a Boss troll or something to follow up with feels a little bit awkward and a little a little, a little dangerous. So I like to Rift Valley turn four or five to reposition them into like a Pudge line or repositioning a, my minion to so it can attack. Um, Rift Valley is pretty good on when doing it that way. Uh, here we got a bunch of villages. Um, I was running some uh, holy grounds over some villages, but. Uh, villages producing that one that uh, just producing a guy is very strong um, turn two produce a uh, a soldier or turn one produce a soldier can allow you to chump block that first three damage for off of a boss troll or a hippogriffs or what have you um, the chump block is very strong uh, it saves you four or five damage um, so that's why I play it over holy ground uh, and then last we got two deserts. Um, so like I said before, there's only only four ma four fire uh, thresholds that don't produce um, earth in this list. Uh, you really w don't want to be playing more than two only fire sites um, because then you, if they're not playing earth, uh, 
your your avatar gets small pretty quick. You really want to be at four at the minimum, and five and six is is a happy zone, is is the ultimate goal. But two two fire sites there, and here we have some cards I kind of played around with while building the list. Um, Scarecrow for um, the Nimbus Jin Death Speaker combo. Uh, since you're playing like a battle mage and you want to be on their sites, they you've made their job really easy if they're gonna Nimbus Jin. Uh, so it, Scarecrow got the cut just because it was it was a bit of an awkward card. It does it's a very specific card. If you draw into this, it doesn't feel great. Um, maybe this is a 41st card, but Scarecrow. Uh, River of Flame, it's a only uh, fire producing site, and you're not really casting a lot of fire spells uh, that you can't cast from your avatar, like Poison Nova and uh, River of Flame, because you're playing so nearby all your stuff, uh, usually will hit the same stuff, um, and maybe you have a problematic enemy root spider but uh it got the cut because it was a non-earth non-earth producing site uh but yeah and then here's a pretty controversial one uh gigantism is a huge swing don't get me wrong um but that four mana you can't double spell there's usually chump blocks in the way you you rather remove the minion and get the four damage in than possibly get six. I've had a lot of turn or a lot of games where I am able to get my opponent to death's store and gigantism has been rotting in my hand for the past four turns. Um, but maybe gigantism is better in some lists, but I uh, I haven't mine hasn't worked. <laughs> Magellan's globe. Uh, if the, a lot of people have started to learn to play on their back row and play passively. So Magellan Globe is a sneaky way to like come around and attack their home site. Uh, Tor's Hammer. Uh, I kind I haven't played enough with this to really know it, but the ability to profitably trade a cavalry or some other three power minion for their three power minion is very strong. Um, but you're so tight on mana that five mana, and you don't really usually have a an extra mana to throw on a trinket. Mad Dash, uh, spoke about it a little bit earlier. The the one plus one movement sometimes doesn't feel like enough. Um, the card draw is nice, but the the two movement off a of blaze it is much better, in my opinion. And then cavalry could be in, re, in place for a bodyguard or a punch butcher if you find them being able to deal with it easily. You can come down and hit for three. It comes down and does a thing. So cavalry is pretty good as well. Uh, so everybody, thank you for watching. Um, that's the my thoughts on my my deck here. I'll have the deck list put in the description. Um, thanks everybody. See you later. Bye.